Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning on our Pentecost Sunday. Why don't we light our candle? over the top of it. It's just there. So let's greet each other. I say the Lord be with you, and you say... And also with you. Very good. Excellent. What song should we sing this morning? Hmm. Ah. Why don't we do Jesus Loves the Little Children? Okay? Jesus loves the little, little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And also I think we'll sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Now when we sing these words, we know it's time to get ready to hear one of God's stories. So watch carefully where I go. I'm going to go this way again, and we'll see if the story is on one of these shelves. Now I've done a lot from the far shelf, but I have a feeling that if I look carefully on this one, and I've just found it. Here it is. Now today is Pentecost Sunday. It's a time when we remember how God sent us the gift of the Holy Spirit so that we can say and do wonderful things like Jesus did. Now it all started after Jesus departed the people of God were in Jerusalem to celebrate a great feast of thanksgiving called Pentecost. And they came from every country. And they gathered together. came from this country and they came from over here and they came from over here every country His friends were there too. Now, Jesus' friends were still waiting. They were still waiting for the gift that God had promised to send, the gift of the Holy Spirit. But when they were at the table, they heard a sound like a mighty wind, and it filled the whole room. And suddenly something like flames of fire came and rested on them, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They 
were so excited. They began talking about the amazing things that God did. They talked about Jesus and how God raised Jesus from the dead. And the people from every country could hear the words. They understood them because they could hear the words in their very own language. And so they asked, what should we do? And Peter said, change your ways and be baptized. You will be washed clean and new and the Holy Spirit will come to you too. The promise of God is for you and for your children and for everyone Now, I wonder how it feels to wait for a gift. I wonder if you know how that feels. I wonder if you have ever waited for a gift and wondered when it was going to come. I wonder how they felt when the gift finally came. I wonder if you've ever felt that way. I wonder how you felt when you've waited for a gift for a long time and it suddenly comes. I wonder how they knew it was the Holy Spirit. I wonder if it made them feel different. I wonder if it made them do different things. Now watch carefully how I put this story away so it's ready for the next person to use. Jesus' friends have a basket all their very own. And you put them in it. And then all the people from the different countries have a basket of their very own. And we put them in it. And then we put the table on the tray. And then we start by folding. And then let's roll it up. There we go. And I wonder if you remember where our story goes. Right here. I wonder if next fall, when we start again, there will be different stories than there were this year. Hmm. You'll have to come and see. But in the meantime, I want to give thanks. Now, when we get ready to give thanks, I say, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, and you say, it, it is, is right, right to, to give, give thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. And I want to give thanks to God for all of you. It was a joy having all of you in my class. I really miss all of you. I look forward to seeing you again. Hopefully we'll be able to see each other again soon. Now this is something you can do at home as well as watch me do here. You can change a light. You see how this light is all in one place and in one time. It's kind of like the Holy Spirit. It almost looks like a flame of fire, doesn't it? Watch carefully. Well, now that flame of fire that was in one place and in one time can be in all places and in all times. So wherever you walk today, in your house or outside, you can walk through the Holy Spirit.
Happy Pentecost, everyone.